Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel if this isn't your first time. But like technically it would be your first time if you're watching this when this first comes out. So like, ooh. So my name is Aqua Elixir, but JK actually my Twitter handle is. And this is my channel. Now I was supposed to already have a first video out and done and all that shit, but didn't happen. We're still in the process of editing that video. However, these bitches needed to get unboxed, so we're gonna do this shit instead. This is a serve. This is a serve. Originally for my first video, I had an introduction planned. That shit is gonna get postponed. So who am I? Y'all don't know yet, but um, y'all will know soon. But um, today's video was a little bit more dire, more important, and needed to happen before any other video. So yeah, but... Before we get into the dwellies, we are gonna have ourselves a little bit of a discussion. So I'm so sorry if you just wanna see the dolls. Uh, go to this time if you wanna start the unboxing. Um, but we are just gonna discuss. So brass collector dolls, basically it's not something that's new, but at least the way that they're approaching it, it seems new. Um, I don't remember, or I don't at least recall the last time that brass like collabed with like, couldn't think of the word for fashion designer, so we're gonna edit this part out. In the way that they have been recently, I feel like it's mainly just like a capitalism scheme, but uh, <laughs> I mean, what, we had Collector Felicia, who was just like a regular holiday doll. We had the GCDS dolls, which I do have. Um, and then we had, I mean, technically Sweetheart Megan, sure. But then we had, is Colt Gaia literally the next one? I think Cole Guy is. I'm probably missing something. I mean, no. Bitch, my brain is dead. But uh, Colt Gaia has been the most recent of the collector doll releases. No. My gay ass really should not have forgotten about the fact that we got Jimmy Paul. Jimmy Paul, sweetie, I am so sorry. I forgot all about you for a second. Uh, so I have GCDS. I don't know why I listed all the other ones. Like, okay, Collector Megan and Holiday Felicia. Like, yes, yes. But today's video, especially the dolls that I got are centered around collaborations with designers. 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 Yeah, it's just like very interesting that it seems like that's like the new normal for brats. Instead of getting Playline and hopefully crossing fingers, toes, everything in the world that we do get Playline soon. Um, that's not really something that we're getting. It's mainly either a re-release or a collector doll. So collector dolls have been really in right now for no reason in the doll market. And I don't mean in as in like everybody's like, oh my God, I want a collector doll. It's more like companies are like, oh no, we're doing a collector doll. Oh, we just came out with something like with a new doll brand. Oh, collector, collector deluxe, limited edition, special edition. Oh yes, yes, I love it. Put it, slap it, 75 bucks. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? It's just, definitely I've been feeling drained, not only physically from my fucking wallets, but just I'm ready for something that's new, but playline. Cause these are new, but it's not playline. And the prices are too much, too fucking much. Certainly I'm just like, oh, okay. 66 bucks each, I'm like, fuck. Um, Mind you, I haven't even said the name of these dolls yet. Y'all can tell by the title, but... Yeah, so we're gonna keep a little surprise for now, even though y'all can tell by the title what these dolls are. Act like y'all are surprised, okay? Act like y'all surprised. But yeah, like, I don't know. I'm tired of collector dolls. I feel like every single fucking line has some sort of collector doll, and I don't have to buy them. I know that, but I want to. <laughs> Which is the unfortunate thing. Like, people who don't understand won't understand, like... If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. If you know, you know. And if you don't, then I honestly feel sorry for you. I feel bad. I honestly, like with the Colt Gaia release, those are kind of similar to Jimmy Paul. I'm waiting for a sale on those, especially for Chloe. I love Chloe the most out of the two of them. Uh, Yasmin's first outfit with like the shirt and the shorts is cute. The dress is ill-fitting and the shoes don't look great with any of the outfits. But um, Chloe is the moment because her second outfit in the pink with the fur and then the skirt, that's not a want, that's a need. 
But the second outfit, like the first outfit, I don't like the blue and the yellow. I don't know, that color combination to me, it works in certain situations, but not in this. And I like a butterfly top, but I feel like it should have been a little bit more form fitted. I feel like it's a little too loose, too big looking on her. So yeah, but these particular girlies, I'm gonna shout them out, but I remember on Instagram, Doll Obsession posted way, 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 way back. They got the dolls and they were like, here is Moa Lola. I can only show like a little snippet. And then they described each doll and just from the description alone, I knew, I just knew that this was gonna be the line. This was gonna be the collector line that I immediately get. I say that knowing that I got GCDS when they first released, but that was out of scarcity. And I really, really adored them back then. I still do, but they're all right. But these girls, dare I say the best collector dolls from Bratz ever, they slayed. So basically two days ago, shout out to Doll Obsession again, because truly I, oh my God, they be getting in the new dolls so quick and it makes me so excited for the new releases. But I was just like at work, mind you, on my break. Scroll through Instagram, go on Doll Obsession's story, and I see Moa Lola Felicia link, Moa Lola Jade link. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. I'm thinking that these links are not gonna work anymore. Like they've been up for a little bit since me seeing it. So I was a little worried, but I opened it up. Sure enough, it said that I could put it in my fucking cart and buy them. There was no stock images, but I didn't give a fuck because I knew, we knew. They knew, Doll Obsession knew. So I added them to cart and I knew as soon as I had the opportunity to, no matter what, like I was getting these bitches. And here we are today, two days later. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. So yeah, two day shipping. And now, let me not flash my address. Oh God, that was from the bottom. This is a huge box, mind you. So we're gonna get into them now. Enough of my talking. I'm super excited. Ow. All right, guys, so this is the first initial reaction of seeing these dolls in person. I have not opened this box up, obviously, until now, so. Oh, they're pat. Oh. Okay, oh my God, these boxes are huge, but like, So they put one in here and then one of these bitches is just here. Like, as you can see, it says Brass Designer Doll M1. <gasps> but then we have, I think this is Jade right here. I could be wrong. So we are going to look at her. How is she, how is she, how is she, who is she? Oh no, this is Felicia. <gasps> oh, this box is huge. She is the moment. So here she is. Like, I knew that these boxes were cool. I did not think that they were this cool in person. I didn't think that they were this big. Look at this shit. I thought that it was like pretty compact, but it's spacey in here. So I'm like, should we do a 360? The handle is cloth. There's too many things happening right now. <laughs> So many things. So the handle is cloth and it's giving Target. It's giving, I shop at Target. Here's my Target circle, numbers, rewards, cards. The side of the box right here, it says Bratz. Oh God, the glare is horrific. So we have that same thing, the Bratz logo, all that shit. And then, okay, the reflection off of this, the lighting, it's giving. But the back looks like so, it's like a huge star. And then, ooh, it says, doing what you want is Mawa's world, or is it Moa? Moa Lola? Designer, sweetie, I am so sorry. Doing what you want is Moa's world? No rules, exactly what you need to be a drip god. Per. So. Yes, per. And you can see my light. And then, yeah. 
So again, the front, same shit on the bottom. And then, oh, this is wild. This is crazy. Is her face good? She has like a perfect face. And it's just so wild that these dolls are the ones to bring back. Oh, okay, no, they're not the catalyst. That was Girls Night Out. But these girls are like the collector dolls along with Cole Gaia to bring back the regular face sculpts and the spray method, which is the iconic method. Not the fucking UV sticker, whatever, ill. <gasps> um, so yeah. So we got Felicia. But we're not done yet. Felicia was the one that we were the most excited for, not gonna lie. But we got ow. Sorry, I really should have gotten my scissors, but I take the fuck out of this box. Okay, are we ready? Are we ready? Oh. Let me see, let me, oh my god. She's gorgeous, she's gorgeous. We got Jade. Like the pose. The box is just so great. Her screening. Like the fact that they gave her two different eye colors and that both of these dolls have gap teeth. Like the people who thought beforehand when they heard that the gap teeth were there, that it was ugly, you're ugly. You just don't get it. Sorry, sweetie. It's the moment. It will forever and always be the moment. She's gorgeous. So I am so excited about these dolls. Best collector dolls, truly. I'm so fucking excited. I love it. It's just crazy because I've never had collector dolls before their official release like this, at least in Bratz. Because when GCDS dropped, that shit fucked me over. But, um, and then Jimmy Paul, no. Colt Gaia, who cares? Moa Lola. This is where it's at. Let's get into these bitches. <laughs> The next day, I was so tired that I just decided, you know what, we're gonna end up opening these dolls tomorrow. We're gonna push it off. So today's tomorrow. Um, does this beanie look tight? Because it feels it and it looks it too. So we're gonna start with Jade. Now, I knew that she served. I mean, Felicia out eight. I'm so sorry, Jade. I love you. I think that you're great. Felicia out eight. But Jade, actually seeing her in person, physically, she's giving Felicia a run for her money, let's just say that. So here is Jade. Like, okay, first off, this long ass fuck me hair. Like, she said inches, 22 inches. This shit is so gorgeous. And I'm loving the lighter shades of brown that are in her hair. Now she does have these little cuffs. They're red cuffs with black spikes that are holding her pigtails together, kind of, sort of. They seem like they might be a little small, which is why they're rubber banded to the hair. But she does have these little gelled spiky pigtail parts. And then the rest of the pigtail and then the rest of her hair is down in the back. Then we have, oh, her face. So, okay, I know with brat screenings, usually it's a little weird if you could see like the inner dent, indentation of the eye, like where like the eye should be, like that part of the face mold, head mold, whatever, but I don't know, the screening is just so gorgeous. I don't give a fuck if she's a little wonky. 
She doesn't look wonky to me. Maybe she isn't. I don't know. So she has her two little commas. She has her two little periods right there for the brow. Obviously, her eyes just go super dumb. I mean, the heterochromia right there. It, get your hand out of your face. It's just so amazing. And you can't see it because of my camera focus, but the little white in her eyes, they're hearts, they're hearts. So I love that little detail too. Um, these are used with the spray method. Again, I think I mentioned that before. So it just looks so much, oh, better. My greasy ass fingers <laughs> are smudging her face. And then for her lips, it's like a deep red. And she got her gap tooth. <laughs> like, the fact that we've never seen a gap tooth like this from Bratz before, at least that I know of. How come we haven't done this sooner? How come we haven't done this sooner? This is just so amazing. I love it. She's gorgeous. And then she is on the 2018 Articulated Body. How do I feel about that? I mean, I'm glad that these dolls have articulation. I don't think that they will ever bring back the Bratz movie doll body, even though that one I think is the more superior of the two. But um, yeah, so she does have that articulation and then that weird little in-between. You can't really see it. You can kind of see it right here. But this dress, oh my God. It's this full, like tight dress, yellow mesh. And then there's little circular cutouts going all the way down. And they're covered by these red fucking stars that are just so, like the titty star got me, it got me. And then we have on the side of this star covering up that little hole, that patch, this one here. Then we have one towards the bottom. And she does have these black socks underneath as well. And then the shoe game, the shoe game. Oh my God. Oh, oh. Come on now. Come on now. Let's talk about it. Because, dare I say, the most inventive, cool, insane. Oh, you can see my eye through that. Hey, little uh, wink. The most, like, insane shoes that we've gotten from Bratz, to be honest. Like, it's black, kind of looks like a flip-flop in a way. We have these little star cutouts in the red platform. And then we have like a black, I don't know. The front is black. And yeah, let me just, we'll take it off so y'all can see it better. These are really fucking huge too. As you can tell, the shoe fits basically in the palm of my hand. But it's so, it's lovely. This, almost dropped it. Now we're gonna get her into her second outfit and I'll be right back. So before even getting into her second outfit, we do have her bag. And I mean, it's giving Gia Gun entrance look. Just got off the boat, you know, a little trip from Asia, just landed like fresh tilapia. <laughs> off the boat, looking like fresh tilapia or whatever she said. Um, yeah, the doors that she's opened with big bags like this, I mean, she truly was such a trendsetter with this. But it's really cool. It has a lot of white detailing on it. I don't know why it's giving like eyes, like this and that, or like the two eyes. It's giving like cat eyes. <gasps> Is it supposed to be like a cat? Because she's Jade and her nickname is Cool Cat. That's what it's giving. Like these right here are definitely eyes. Like cat eyes. <gasps> That's so cool. Unless I just made that shit up. But now that I said that, I can't unsee it. Cause at first I'm just like, oh, okay. It's just random patterning, but no, it's giving cat eyes. And then we have this big drop pouch. What for? Her thoughts, her dreams, her desires. Now here is Jade in the second outfit. Now I did put her in her glasses as well. So let's get a look at those. They are a little bit of a tight fit, I will say, 
Um, I was a little worried, especially because at the bottom, it has a little nub piece. And I'm like, is that gonna hit right up against her nose? And it kind of does, it kind of does, but it still looks really, really pretty. Really cool, futuristic. I don't know why it's giving me Charlie XCX. Honestly, this whole entire collab gives me Charlie XCX vibes for no fucking reason, um, but I love it. But also just like very like motocross. I don't know anything about- Moelola. I'm so sorry, they look so fun though, and chill and cool and just bad bitches all around. But we have her jacket which is this white jacket with black accents. You got some patches on the sides. And it is pleather. We do have this zipper here, so it's a real working zipper. It can zip all the way up, as you can see, and zips down. And we are gonna take it out of the zipper, even though it took me like 15 minutes to get the little zip piece in and try to zip it up. It's too tiny for my fat fingers, so... But the details are really, really cute. And then on the back of the jacket, it does have the logo right there. And the dress, same material, this kind of pleathery material. And it has basically that same kind of bullseye radial energy that the packaging has. And it's in that kind of green color, and it's white as well. So yeah, it's a cute little mini dress. And then you can have a better look at her shoes in this dress for sure. Or at least the sock part, which is trying to, I guess, make it look more like a longer boot. So, yeah. And then she does come with this little stand. I mean, honestly, I feel like these dolls can stand on their own because of the shoes and how flat and big and just gorgeous they are. But the stands do help. They just have little pegs at the bottom. And you put them in. And she can stand. The one issue that I have with these dolls is the pleather. Like this whole entire second outfit is pleather. So I don't know. Maybe it's, since it's 2022, it's a different kind of pleather. They up the quality. Maybe it's something that will be longer lasting. Who knows, I doubt that, but I feel like everybody in the doll community, we know about dynamite, okay? Fucking dynamite happened and those outfits crumbled. Leather jackets, they crumble. Leather, anything after a while will crumble. So, I, I don't know, I'm a little worried. I'm gonna be so depressed because these outfits are literally so great. And both of these dolls, incorporate pleather elements so it's going to be very interesting seeing how these dolls stand the test of time but for the moment for right now it's serving it's so great now i do recommend keeping the hands on when changing them out of their clothing i know that they have the ability to remove their hands like they're removable so that it's easier to put on the clothes however these dolls, I don't know about Colt Gaia, I don't know about Jimmy Paul, I don't even know about GCDS because I haven't taken them out of their outfits, they don't have a second outfit and I just kept them in what they come with, but I know Sweetheart Megan and her joint, her little hand peg, is not like this one, it's a little bit longer and it ends off in like a round little ball. This one is short and stubby. And it's weird, I don't know. I had a lot of trouble getting the hand back in after taking it out. And I just realized it would be better to keep the hand on because even putting on the jacket, it wasn't that hard, it wasn't that difficult. So yeah, I just don't want to risk breaking the doll. I always get nervous when it comes to hand pegs and removing them because the only dolls that make it easy for the hand pegs to come out are Alibol Surprise dolls or like the OMGs. So, other than that, everybody else loves to make it different and hard. So, but that is Jade. Let us get into Felicia. Why did I say it like that? Oh God. All right, guys, we have been pushing it for far too long. So, it's time to meet mother. It's time to meet her. We have, oh God, we have Felicia. 
Oh my god. I mean, I mean... Oh, it's giving box hair. It's giving box hair. But the inches on these... I will never get over this. And then her little blunt cut in the front. It's just so gorgeous. The yellow. The fact that her hair is this striking yellow. It's insane. The face is gorgeous. She has like a really skinny, uh, thin yellow brow. She also has red makeup, like a red winged look. I also love the absence or lack thereof of eyelashes. That's pretty slay. I love that she has little flecks every now and again on her eyes and the fact that her eyes are gray looking. Yeah, they're gray. Love that. And in her pupils, she actually has little stars, which is really cool. She has a new lip as well. And then the little gap tooth. Oh my God, being fed well tonight, holy shit. So her first outfit is pretty simple to be honest. I mean, it's another plaid. I was about to say plaid. Oh god. Another pleather look. So there's nothing on the back, but on the front we have the logo right here, the M. Now, because of the fact that we have the real working doll zipper, the logo is a little stretched, but we have the M right there, and then we have it on the skirt as well. And then we're gonna open up the jacket because she has on, oh my God, such a cool piece. Cause her top is legit just two stars and it's so cool. And they're also pleather as well, just a full pleather fit. So, and it's just such a gorgeous top. Love how it's done. Moving on down to the shoes. So obviously, again, just like Jade, we do have a little bit of a sock that is supposed to emulate the rest of the boot. So Jade had a little bit more of um, a knee length kind of boot, but Felicia got those thigh highs and I love it. I love that the pattern continues in a very cohesive way. Like the black really hits where the black goes on the shoe. Um, but oof. these shoes, I did not realize that this was a separate just heel. I thought that it had an opening in the back and then it just came to a close towards the bottom. But it makes me happy knowing that it's like a legit separate heel from the rest of the base. But on the inside, we do have the M, the Mawalala logo. Oh my God. Up in there. And it's just so cute. It's pointed in the front, comes to a point, and they're just so gorgeously high. Like, she has a platform. Like, we're talking about somebody with a platform. So, and love that. Also, her bag. Now, I was right about the cat eye thing. I thought that it was a cool design, just intricate, whatever. These are cat eyes for Jade. Because Felicia, her bag, at first I'm looking, I'm like, okay, it's just a regular bag. It has the M logo there and it has like a couple of dots. But I'm looking at this on the side because it's a little asymmetrical on each side of the purse. And I remember that Felicia's nickname is Glam Gecko. And that's legit the gecko right there on the bag. Like, like, can we get more? Can we, can we get more? We need a series two. We need another collab with them. They, this is the superior collab. I cannot get over this doll in just this outfit. We still have to get to the second outfit. Here is her star top. So it's just a couple of white stars, goes around like that. I'm speechless, I'm speechless. It's so 
cool. I swear, these dolls are inventive as fuck. Can I just say, thank God these 2018 bodies that the dolls use have removable arm joints. Without this, this dress would not be possible. It really wouldn't because it is form fitting. And it looks great on, trust me, it looks great. But the work that it took to get here, okay. I understand why doll clothing is so tight sometimes because once you put it on, once you get through that process of putting it on, it fits good, you know? It looks like the doll has shape to them. You could see their body and the silhouette once the like outfit is on. But the journey to get there is so rough sometimes. And everybody has gone through this where you're putting on some clothes and it looks like it's about to fucking rip or tear. You think you're about to break the outfit and have wasted your money or something. And then at the very last second, it's like a close call and the outfit just slides on and you're done. That is how I would describe Felicia's second outfit. So let's get into it. Okay, so here she is in her second outfit. Now the shades are really funny to me because 98% of the frames are blocked out with the black design, but you can kind of see her eyes through it, which is cool. I love the shape of them too. Really, really cool. Uh, her dress though, the form-fitting dress is this long dress. Girl, I looked at her. I love the deeper colors with this. I love the fact that it's not as bright and garish as the first outfit. It's a little bit more reserved in its color palette with the black against the brown. And I love this brown too. It's like a thicker mesh. And then I think the black is kind of a pleather. It's definitely different from all the other pleather elements that we've been seeing but regardless it's gorgeous and it feels really nice it feels like such great quality when i first saw this outfit online i did not know what to think i'm like okay it's a little bit more reserved compared to the first outfit am i gonna like it but she's honestly really cute it's really growing on me seeing it in person so are we gonna put her back in the first outfit and leave her in it unfortunately unfortunately but I'm happy that I appreciate this outfit a lot more than I thought I was. So, there's that. Now, I'm gonna put these girlies back into their first outfits and we are going to close this video off. Okay, so just kidding, I actually have both of them in their pleather outfits. I just put Felicia back in hers and I was looking at Jade and I'm like, they kinda serve together like this. So, we're gonna keep them like this for now. But final thoughts, is this the best Bratz collab that they've had so far? Yes, I think so. I think it's safe to say these two dolls slayed it so fucking hard. Like, I'm sorry, Colt Gaia, you had your time. Move over because the queens have arrived, okay? And if you think that Colt Gaia is better than this, wishful thinking you're a dreamer you dream a lot in your sleep because these bitches are the moment and some they're they're literally some of the breast they are literally just some of the best brats that we've seen not only in recent years but just come on now these designs are just something that we've never seen before they're very inventive it's such a cool collaboration. We need to see more stuff like this with Bratz because it's just so gorgeous. It's truly a work of art. It was worth it. As much as my bank account was hurting in the moment and I was just thinking about it, like all this fucking money, 66 bucks each with shipping, um, including shipping, uh, these dolls are worth it. They really are. Some of the best i need to get more so that i can keep them in box but for now this is just oh my god satisfying all of my needs 
didn't think that I'd have these dolls on my hands so soon. And I'm grateful, what can I say? Now, it's certainly hard to try and pick a favorite, but I mean, come on now, Mother Felicia. Mother Felicia right here. Like, try not to say mother for three minutes. Oh, ooh, her glasses are falling off. She's just so gorgeous. And uh, we knew it from the leaks. We knew it from the photos. Seeing her in person, this is amazing. So that is it for the first ever video on this channel. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe because there is definitely more to come. And I will see y'all in the next video. Okay, I gotta put this bitch down so I can <laughs> cut the camera. Bye, guys. Uh -huh.